<laughs> he just laughs, like, bursts out laughing at this little halfling in a tuxedo. That's okay. pretty funny. Um, so, uh, Might what be one will... of the funniest things he's ever seen. What will you say? Uh, who the hell are you? My name is Charles Bronson. <laughs> he laughs at him again. <laughs> Do you not know who I am, my friend? Uh, no, I do uh, he not. He will snap not. his fingers and your pants will fall down. He will stand <laughs> proud and doesn't even look down. Uh, he will make your uh, male genitalia disappear. Yule looks down, looks back at him, looks down. <laughs> Looks back at him. <laughs> Looks back at him. <laughs> I expect you will fix that immediately. Do you even understand that if I wanted you dead, I could do it in an instant? That's the second person who said that in like five minutes. I'm getting real tired of all this. <laughs> it sounds. What do you want? It sounds like you need to go that way, my friend. Follow Dustin. Or follow, your or follow your objective. It's up to you. But without you... Oh, now, it, now it's up to me. But without a minute you, ago, I had to Dustin go help my friend. Dustin will fail. Uh, Alright, well, at least give me my dick back so I can go help him out. But of it's course. kind of part of my personality, so... <laughs> <laughs> and actually, it seems like it got slightly bigger. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> That might not be a good thing. I mean, I am part orc already. I hope you enjoy what uh, I have uh, bestowed upon you. You're a weirdo, he says as he pulls his pants up and goes after Dustin. <laughs> <sighs> and uh, he will snap his fingers and your pants will go back up. I've already pulled my pants back up. Oh. That's what I was saying. He's just giving well, you a wedgie. Saying... <laughs> no. No, I... <laughs> I dick. didn't hear. I didn't uh, notice that you said okay. <clears throat> so, at this point in time, uh, Dustin, you continue to hear. Dustin, help! And Mule, you're actually starting to hear this very faint. Dustin, help! Dustin, help! It's very faint, and you can't actually tell who it's from, but you're starting to understand why Dustin ran. Do Goliaths have better hearing than humans? No, wait, wait, wait. It's, 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 it's wait, who's understanding based, why not... Dustin... No, it's just I Dustin. am? Uh, no, I'm starting I think to hear it. have uh, worse hearing than uh, uh, humans and Goliaths. Um, I don't know, though. Um, you start hearing very faintly, but... Dustin, help! Dustin, help! So, uh, you'll, uh, starting you'll to understand to why he his, ran. He'll to his new, slightly larger package, because it's just a little weird for him <laughs> to run now. You know, it's just a little unfamiliar. Uh, yeah, but he, just he hears like it, got, like, a and kind of begins spicy. to follow towards the sound. Okay. So, as you guys run for probably around about 15 minutes, and, Damn, and the sound that. continues and continues... Dustin, help! Still just pelting it full speed. And, uh, but there's going to be a wall that you hit, and you will <laughs> smack at it. Would you, uh, would you like to roll me a, uh, a, I guess dexterity saving throw? or No, wisdom-based saving throw, please. Okay, that's 16 plus... Do you get plus... brain damage or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, how, how hurt yeah. are you? Crack skull? Swollen brain? So Minor contusions plus dead, <laughs> De uh, just was... death. It's just death. He turns into like uh, like 12. a MythBusters experiment. 12. Um, 12. you yeah. fall on your ass. Okay. And they say, so you would sacrifice your friend, that may be in even further trouble than this child. I thought you had been friends with this man for your entire life. So, I'm just, I'm I see sound... where your loyalty lies. With the young and the defenseless. 
over the strong with weapons. Yes. Death and life happen, my friend. And you must understand that sometimes you've got to make decisions for the betterment of balance and nature. Then and just who are your... You? Who are you to tell me what decisions I should make? You should, show, my... you should show respect to the god of balance and nature. He's just going to stop rubbing his head and just sort of sit there. What? Your selfishness will get the entire world killed. You must understand that your decisions affect every single one of the people on this planet. Then and tell the me. people on other planets as well. How far behind am I, like, in running to this? Uh, you're probably, like, uh, actually, like, it seems like time stopped for him. You're running, but, like, it's... It's like, uh, do you remember the Star Trek movies where time stops, but it's like no time went on at all, so, but they're like continuing moving forward? It's like that. Does that make sense? Okay. So there's just this Goliath sat on the floor. So I'm just running on a big no, treadmill. Your time is moving, Nathan. Okay. But, Richard's oh. time, he, he, he doesn't understand that time stopped, but for you, time stopped. He's, it's in his mind, speed. he's just running. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so... Okay. Do I need to make a religion check to know that this is Gilreth talking to me? Do you really have to, my friend? I was asking the DM, not you, you Gilreth. You have. <laughs> you have. <laughs> uh, no, no, you can definitely, because okay. of your religious uh, background, you definitely know that this is Gilreth. So you're telling me, Gilreth, that you would sacrifice children. Or abandon the defenseless. I will tell you that I would do what it took. I Let me tell you about a decision I made that I do not fully agree with. And is almost a regret. But it actually be became my greatest triumph. A thousand years ago, there was an ancient white dragon... <laughs> and I agreed to help him find a rod of controlling. And I did not fully agree with him. And I was in a situation where I could not say no, or it would destroy the entire party that I was with, and maybe the entire world. But, I tell you here, without that decision the world would no longer exist at all. So, life and death are inevitable. But the continuation of life and the circle of life is more important than one. It does not matter how young or old they are. But without Sam... The death of the entire world is inevitable. What has Sam got to do with this? It has everything to do with it, Dustin. I'm not abandoning Sam. I'm not abandoning him. You're heading in the opposite direction than you were heading before. Why would you I do that? I haven't seen Sam. I saw Mule. Why would you change your mind just because of something I put into your head? You manipulated me. You I knew did. I was not. I. You, know where you my need to is. understand that one day you will have to leave the children. You you may have, but but I also say do not leave them to die. But you must understand that your life is not with those children. You must continue your quest at some point. It's either save the world or save the lives of these children. 
and then and just preserve their lives and then inevitably they will die as well just remember balance nature will save the day okay and he will disappear and uh the voice will leave your head and you will continue moving forward I fucking hate this. Where the fuck is East? Hey! He's looking up, like, waiting for an answer. And the answer just flew away into the wind. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly I don't like Gilreth. <laughs> Suddenly I hate myself. Yeah, I think you do hate yourself. Interesting perspective. Although I'm not, I'm na I now know I'm not going to enjoy playing the other campaign when we go back to it. Why? Because <laughs> Gilreth is now going to have to be manipulated to fit this cannon. Is he? Yes. M microphone, Shep. Yeah. What's wrong? Yeah. I'm probably not going to enjoy going back now. Uh. What's Thank that? I, hate, I now hate Gilreth. Look what you've done. I hate myself. Why do you hate him? He's just Gilreth trying to make your blindness... Fuck. Your blindness... Uh, um, disappear. Yeah, but in Dustin's eyes, it's loyalty. But with loyalty, Mule, does Mule have his uh, his cigars on him? Ah, uh, he does. He has one cigar. So he's gonna just stop running for a minute and smoke a cigar because this I think is what up to me while I'm just sat on the floor, rubbing my head, looking very angrily at a wall. Yeah. Okay. I'm just standing over you, smoking a cigar. Have you? I checked just poke the wall? you with. <laughs> I poke you with the end of the uh, with with the with the end of the the pitchfork. The just like, hey, the blunt end or the sharp end? <laughs> the blunt end. Okay. <laughs> uh, fucking wall. What are you doing? Running into a wall, apparently. Why? <laughs> it wasn't there a second ago. All right. Well, are you dead? I don't know, are we? <laughs> That's actually a good point. Anyway, uh, you, we should probably go back to the light thingy. Somebody was telling us not to go in there, so that's usually a good sign. This doesn't make any sense. Let's just get this over with. Go east, avoid the light, go to the light. We can't find east, we can't find the light, we can't find the voices in our heads. Hey, hey, shut up. Get up, and let's go. This is annoying me too. He's gonna stand up and just follow. <laughs> okay. Just Mule's just like grumbling under his voice something about like emotional young uh, Goliaths. <laughs> <laughs> the emotional young Goliaths just <laughs> mumbling to himself about depressed orcs or angry half orcs. Okay, so uh, uh, so what direction are you guys heading? Back, to back the towards uh, where yeah the light where we came from. Okay, so you're gonna get back to the uh, the light, and you're uh, you're gonna get back to the point where you start hearing the uh, go away. Mule just uh, kind of waves his hand like nonchalantly, like right, right, that we heard that, we heard that, and we just keep walking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and um, so you will end up seeing these lights start to pop. Come open. Okay. And start to move around through the uh, the forest that you guys are in. And this one in particular will walk up to you and just look at you. It's a light? Yes, it is just a light. How does a light... But it has legs? It has no, no legs. It's just floating. Oh, so it floats up to... Okay. 
and it's just gonna look at you. Well, seemingly look 